Today we have another beautiful day in Chengdu, China, and today I am with again Captain Carr. 大家好 <laughs> Hello, everyone. 大家好 We are. Where are we? We are in Xiaojiahe.、Mm-hmm. It's a very famous、uh, residential district in Chengdu. Okay. Ah,、uh, Xiaojiahe. Xiaojiahe. Oh. Xiao Jiahe, Xiao Jiahe. So this place called Xiao Jiahe is deep in Chengdu, deep inside this residential area. Like you will not go here as a tourist, but this is a really nice place. There are a lot of people, restaurants. It just has this lively vibe. And today we are visiting an interesting restaurant called Bai Qi Ju Mian Guan. Bai Qi Bai Qi Ju Wei. Eh, Bai Qi Qi Wei Mian. Oh, sorry. Bai Qi Qi Wei Mian Guan. Yeah, so this place is called Bai Ju Qi Wei Mian Guan, which is kind of a tongue twister. This is a noodle shop that's been there for more than a decade. It's very popular. A lot of people say good things about it, and it's also on the list of Chengdu's 50 best noodle. Yeah, right. So there is a list, like you know, there's worst 50 best bar restaurants. Chengdu also has a list. It's called Chengdu's 50 best noodle, and those are all noodle. Namely, and today we're visiting one of them. And the interesting thing about this restaurant is that because there are so many people, it's so popular. It doesn't even have tables. Yeah, on the street, like they have maybe like two, three tables inside, but it's always occupied. Like you never get tables inside. So as a result, people sit outside, lining up on the bench. One bench for noodle, one bench for them. So like, it's very interesting.、Yeah. So so it's called bench noodles. Nickname. Oh, bench noodle. Bench noodle. Bandan mian. Bench yes, noodle.、Yeah. So today we are trying that. Yeah. So let's go. This is the first one, the classic Su Jiao vegan chili. Again, don't ask me why it's vegan when there's pork in it. This is a big bowl. They just sell this in one portion, so you can ask for more or less noodle. This is a little more than two liang, which is a hundred gram. I always order this in a restaurant because that's kind of like the control group that you want to see how good is the execution. Captain Carp has pretty much finished that already.、Yeah. How do you feel about that? First, the noodle. It's a little soft.、Mm. The sauce is good though, but、uh, more of the noodle.、Mm. It's firm but soft. I've been to several of those noodle shops already. And each of them has a different character in terms of noodle. I have to say, this noodle so far is kind of my least favorite because it's a little, it's a little soft, right? Too soft. Yeah, because I'm really looking for not necessarily al dente, but I still want to have like the strength of it. Yeah. The sauce is pretty classic, a little bit lard, pork, a little bit chili oil, and、uh, a hint of soy sauce. It's, it is spice and sweet. I think it's sweet, spicy、yeah. and sweet. Yeah, and also the garlic flavor for this one, it's not too strong, which is good. Because sometimes when it's too strong, you have the flavor like in your mouth two hours after it. You can't go on a date after eating this. <laughs> wow. But you can take your date together to eat this, so you won't infect each other. You can still kiss. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because both of you have the strong smell. Yeah, yeah. Each other change their bacteria and and the garlics and. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second bowl, wei bo zhou, double cooked pork. They have the classic noodle double cooked pork, but this time in this red broth. We had this a few times before already, but those are dry mix, just the double cooked pork. This one has the soup. As you can see, we have Chinese leek. Some cabbage and the noodle is a little thicker than the other varieties. This one, this one is this one is wandou dian, wandou dian, wandou dian. Ah, yes. I don't know how to speak in English. Ah,、uh, this is pea shoots, basically like the the the, the shoots of、um, the green peas. Yeah. And this is the essence of、uh, Chengdu noodle. Yes. Let me have this, and you just add this into noodles. It's usually blanched or. Uh, stir fry, but mostly blanched with noodle, and this is Chengdu people's favorite. Yeah, this is like a precious,、uh, like, like a you know, so precious. Ah,、uh, my precious. Yeah, because. Oh, eh, this is still summer, right? Ah, this is still summer. Ah, winter is the best season. For yeah, yeah, the season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, try the food first. 
可以先喝口汤。嗯。Well, to be honest, it's okay. Let me try this. Pork is good, but the noodle again, it's a little soft. This thing overall is, I think it's okay because it's just double cooked pork with this, and then you have the soup, which kind of diluted the flavor. Once you have the soup that diluted the flavor, then the point of focus shift to the noodle. But uh, again, the noodle is a little soft. I think it's uh, fresh pork because it's uh, we just fried some of the huiguro noodle. It's pre pre cooked, pre cooked. Yes, but this is uh, just now cooked. We call this cooked à la menu. Ah, it's a Latin term, à la menu, which means uh. like you order the last minute. Oh. Yeah, you you want to show off your English, you know, okay. instead of like, oh, I want this to cook now, you say, uh, give me this order, à la menu. That's just Chinese, Chinese, well, Chinese chow chow. Yeah, yeah. Pishu, one dojer. Fresh, a little crunchy. For whatever reason, this reminded me of gacho y pepe. Well, of course, it's completely different. Gacho y pepe is that you have basically pepper and cheese. This is su jiao, you have vegan chili. But uh, I think the thickness of noodle is comparable. Some of the good Italian restaurants in New York City, they do their house-made pasta, and the thickness is comparable. Um, but I have to say, in this context, the Italian one tastes so much better compared to this particular one. I'm pretty sure there is a better one in Chengdu. But what I'll say is that this noodle is better with sauce than the soup. Yes. Cacho e Pepe, Sichuan version. Well, at least I still have a bowl of noodle soup. And also some pickled cabbage, pao cai. I like the chili oil they add into this. Not a whole lot, but a bit smoky flavor. All right, we have just finished our meal at this Tongue Twister name noodle restaurant, the Bench Noodle. We had two bowls of noodle each, and uh, to be honest, I think it's whatever. The noodle is whatever in my standard because it's a little too soft. The topping is good for the first one, su jiao is good. The double cooked pork is, is fine, it's okay. But because they have the soup, which kind of dilute the flavor, then you're more kind of like tasting the noodle, then we get back to the point of not being firm enough or doesn't have the strength enough. For the noodle, my personal preference is that I really want something that has nothing al dente, but it needs to have a firmer texture. And this one is just a little too soft. So there are two possibilities. One is that they might have just cooked a little too soft for this batch. Or second is that the nature of the noodle is just a little soft because the noodle is cooked evenly, like in my mouth, the teeth feel is adequate, like it breaks up evenly. So suggesting that it is cooked evenly, but maybe it's like the noodle itself from whatever supplier that is, is not a very firm version. Again, I like firmer ones, but if you like softer ones, you might like this because everyone has different tastes, right? Because I, I know there are some people who like softer noodles. If you're that type of person, you'll like this place. I think the experiencing value is higher than, than the flavor. The flavor. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Like It's very rare. You sit off the wall to eat a noodle. It, yeah, I think it's... Yes. If you just travel here, live around the district nearby. Yes. But the very important thing of this is, this is a Chengdu lifestyle. No matter what kind of person you are, you sit off the same wall to wait for noodle. Yes. So in front of the noodle, everyone equal. <laughs> yes. Everyone is equal in front of the noodle. Yeah. 面之前，众生皆平等。阿弥陀佛。<laughs> That's the spirit. Yes.、Yeah. So with that being said, I'll continue my culinary journey in Chengdu, and we'll be trying more noodles together. Yeah. Until then, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next one. Ciao. Ciao.